Okay, today we're going to take a look at absolute value. And here's the definition. So absolute value is a mathematical operation, just like adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, or squaring. It's just some sort of math operation. And it represents the, and this is the key part, the distance a number is from zero on the number line. And so if we take a look at um, the symbol for it, we get something that kind of looks like an 11. It's actually two straight lines, two long straight parallel lines. So uh, this is the way that we would write the absolute value of 2. And what that means on a number line is that uh, I've got 0 and then I've got this number 2 and I want to know how far away from the point zero is the number two, and of course it's two units away. And so the answer to the absolute value of two is this, which is that two units distance away. So if I take a look at another example and I say, okay, well, how about the absolute value of negative five? Well, if I create a number line, here's zero, and there's negative five, and so the distance here is five units. And so the answer to how far away is negative five from zero, which is what absolute value means, it's five units away from zero. And since all measurements of distance are positive, then the absolute valuing of a number always results in a positive. And of course in math there's always some exceptions, so how far away is zero from zero on the number line? It's zero, and zero isn't positive or negative, so there's a little bit of an exception there. Looks like I'm saying lol. I'm not. Okay, and you can do this with any sort of number, so if you have uh, a decimal, then that's just 1.5 units away, and if you have some sort of number that's a little bit more rational, that's just that many units away. And it can work with fractions, so if you have how far away is three-fifths from zero, it's three-fifths of a unit away. And one other thing about absolute values is that we basically treat them as brackets for bed mass. And so, by example, what that means is if you have absolute value of negative 4 plus 6, the first thing you do in bed mass is inside of brackets, and so you actually have to take care of this part first. And so that part asks you how far away is negative 4 from 0, which is 4 units, and then you do your plus 6, and then, of course, 4 plus 6 is 10. Give myself a little room here. Let's do a couple more of these bed mass type of questions. If uh, I have absolute value of negative 4 plus 6, well, bed mass says do inside the brackets four first, so this is the absolute value of 2. Then take the absolute value and you get um, 2. If you have something like negative 1 plus the absolute value of negative 5 minus the absolute value of 10, well, you do inside these absolute values first. So uh, negative 1 plus, and then negative 5 absolute it is 5, minus, and then the absolute value of 10 is still 10, and now I'm just doing an integers question. So I have negative 1 and negative 10 on the same team, so that's negative 11. I have positive 5. There's more negatives than positives, so the negatives win by 6. Uh, that's how I do integers. I'm a little strange for that. Uh, last one. Let's try to make this kind of complicated. Lots of negatives and uh, even more brackets and absolute values and brackets. Well, so just bed mass it, so work from the inside. I've got the number num uh, negative 2, and I'm absolute valuing negative 2. So copy everything else down. So negative, bracket, negative, and I'll put the last bracket on here. So really I'm, I'm dealing with uh, this stuff in green here. And that stuff in green is how the distance, the distance from zero of negative two, which is two units. And so negative two is the new number inside these brackets, and negative negative two is actually positive two. And again, it just takes some practice and some remembering some integer rules and things like that. And we'll get some of that practice in class. We'll see you there.